Uh, yeah, we are transitioning to wrestling. So uh, if you are are into fun, okay, if you are enjoying uh, the idea of fun, and you're uh, uh, then then I would suggest that you go ahead. I'm sure you can probably even still do the the free thing for this month. Go to WWE.com, sign up for the WWE Network. You're gonna be, be able to watch three hours of what I will guarantee you to be a very fun time. It's called NXT TakeOver. It is effectively WWE's minor leagues, but uh, it is a bunch of professionals working really, really hard to be awesome. It is a very special time in wrestling, and these are the shows that make it that special. So, if you would like to do it, then go ahead and do it. If you would not, I can understand if you're not, if you don't want to watch no more, but this is going to get very wrestling intensive, and you're not going to be able to see what we're watching. Which is a pain in the ass, and I know that. But we're going to have to do it separate, and that's just going to be what it is. So, um, that's it. I, I apologize for everybody who was on Viking Lass's channel because it's been so uh, exciting. But that's what we're doing. Okay, so I'm going to do a little uh, switcheroo here, and uh, I'll be right back. All right, we should be live. And we're back. Uh, Liger just went over fucking Breeze, which is insane to me. All right, let's all go to to Reddit right now. Breeze is getting buried. Breeze buried. <laughs> Breeze is never coming out of NXT. <laughs> I think that's where that's where he went wrong right there. You don't stop to scream at the referee. I mean, he's a shitbag heel, but like, I, I how do you let a, a, a visitor, oh, a, unless Liger's bad. gonna be there for a little bit? Is Liger gonna well, be there for so a little this bit? To me, means that maybe is he, he is. gone they tomorrow? Can't end the feud right now, right? You can't be like, hey, you came in, then you beat Tyler, and now I'll see you later. Although, I don't know. Maybe this is just to kind of, like, honor his... Well, I, or, I mean, like, all right. So, conspiracy. Okay. This Put is this on. is WWE yeah. giving a solemn kimono-clad bow uh -huh. to New Japan Pro Wrestling. Yeah, okay. That, you want to know what? Fuck, all right, you're done fucking around with the minor leagues with ROH. Yeah. Let's start actually fucking trading talent with WWE. Well, yeah. Oh, shit. That would shit. be sick. X pack so squisher much heat. so much heat. side slam that guy behind him giving him heat uh, so you know that's Finn Finn goes and gives them oh yeah yeah the two sweets yeah so you think like we could get like a Nakamura match or something like that <laughs> I would. I still want to see him and Daniel Bryan. If Daniel Bryan can actually come back and wrestle, he wants to. They. I, I Daniel know they Bryan said they says. Want to. Yeah. Well, Daniel Bryan says he's going to wrestle in WWE or somewhere else, but it's it's concussions. Yeah. So, what do you think are the chances that he bails on WWE if they never let him wrestle, and he just goes, you know, fuck it, I'm just doing it myself? Because I mean, the man's wrestled with like a popped out fucking eyeball and shit. Right? It's going to so. be two uh, two years. Because I, I think what WWE wants to do is treat him like Sidney Crosby. Like, just give him a year and a half, let the brain recover. Okay. And then if see where you're at. If they can convince him that that's Nia the Jax. Best Who's Nia Jax? Another woman wrestler. Who's Nia Jax? Hey, chat room. Who the fuck is Nia Jax? <laughs> Never heard of the name. Oh, shit. Well, this doesn't mean that they're winning, right? The VOD villains? I fucking love the VOD villains. Oh, they're great. I've heard people say that this gimmick won't go over on the main roster. Oh. I don't really give a shit if it does or not. I just like it. It's a fucking sweet name. They nail the look. Okay. Long 
jackets <laughs> and trunks. This looks is great. the weirdest look ever, though. <laughs> he looks like a flasher. So they have their face theme now. They wouldn't. They, yeah. they had. They they had yeah, the theme. The they had the theme that wouldn't let people clap along yeah. before. <laughs> Holy shit, no, they didn't close off the top. This is a packed fucking it's, arena. Oh, yeah, you're right. It's the whole thing. Holy shit. Dude, they're going to sell out the fucking Barclay Center three nights in a row on wrestling. Yeah, no wonder fucking Triple H came in the ring in the fucking yeah. intro. Yeah. He, he basically dropped his dick. He whipped it out. Because this is basically him saying to Vince, like, yeah. Like, yeah, I got Chill, this. homie, I got, I got this. this. Yeah. I built this from our fucking it's developmental. Time to take a nap, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Boo! <laughs> oh, God. They really are fucking hateable, aren't they? Oh, my God. <laughs> Alexa Bliss is fucking amazing as a heel, too. Because I want to be, like, really, 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 really angry. That I had sex with her. Like <laughs> that's like that's, yeah. she's like 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 oh god, like, like you know. really want to have sucks. sex with her. I know. But like <laughs> you're gonna look at your friends yeah. the next day and it's just yeah. like, no, fuck, I know, I know, yeah, you're like, I, I know, know. I know she's hot, though. What I what know, I know I made a mistake. <laughs> oh, he could do it from the left and the right. Good to know. She's also like fucking eleven inches tall. <laughs> yeah, she's tiny. Because pro wrestlers, in general, like movie stars, are smaller than you think. Yeah, most of them. Like, Except, you know, but the big guys are fucking huge. But yeah, it's true. Like, Daniel Bryan's not a, not a very tall guy. No. At all. Actually, you know, that, that's... Tom Nagasa uh, says, I'm prepared for the walk of shame. Like Roman Reigns when he walked by us? Yeah. Not that tall. No. Not really. No. Yeah. Oh, Alexa, drawn <laughs> stadium heat. It looks like you couldn't find anybody. Not like that's a surprise. Oh, wait. Oh, this is a mixed tag? Oh. I just need to realize something. Oh, I think I know who this could be. Blue pants. <laughs> They're already wearing blue. Oh, yeah! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking blue pants. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Leo Bates getting a fucking uh, pay per view. That is the greatest thing ever. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. <laughs> yes. That's so good. Oh my Dude, they god. got a stadium pop out of fucking yeah. blue pants. Blue pants just got. Not only did she got a chant, she got a We Want Blue Pants. <laughs> she doesn't even work here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now she's getting to this is awesome. This is great. Yeah. Have you like seen that they did an interview with her? And she was like, yeah, basically my character is just to be super happy to be there. Yeah. <laughs> like, Which, just... by the way, uh, is not stray far from reality. No. Like, <laughs> no. I mean, because, by the way, if wrestling as an independent wrestler for uh, as a guy is a shitty, unpredictable, dangerous profession with zero money, yeah. imagine what it is for a woman. Yeah. <laughs> like like it a is, career independent wrestler. It is yeah. effectively charity unless, <laughs> like... If they have Blue Pants actually get the pin here, that would be sick. Blue Pants City. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh my god. He has no bits is in the back. Yeah. Who's this blue pants? Who's this blue pants? They seem to love her. They love her. <laughs> I think uh, blue pants versus Trish Stratus this Monday on Raw. Can she puke? <laughs> Trish Stratus hasn't worked for the company in over uh, a decade and a half. <laughs> oh, okay. Go for the arm bar. Yeah, this is even, great. I, 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 really, I really dig the gray ring. The whole, the whole yeah. gray thing. Well, they're keeping it very, it's a, it's a distinct look. Yeah. Yeah, even, like, he even committed so hard to his shitty, annoying character that he got a dumb back tattoo. <laughs> yeah, like, really. I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. That, that that's what got him that <laughs> dumb like, back tattoo. Gimmick? Okay, I'm gonna get like eagle wings across my back then. By the way, Blue Pants has got to become part of the roster, right? Well, it's, I mean, well, because they they've lost pretty much well, their top half. They're sending a ton of the divas up. Yeah. Right? So yeah, she's fucking over. She's over his shit. The question is, you can't bring her in while Bailey's there, right? Because um, her and Bailey basically have the same gimmick. There's very similar right? faces, I guess you could say. I guess we'll kind or, of. Or know. you got to turn blue pants. If. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> blue pants heal. Oh. Do you, they, you they, switch to red pants if that happens? Well, I mean, it's just that easy, <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. Suddenly she comes out, she's got red pants, and she just. Uh, Although you're kind of running the same Emma gimmick. Yeah, I guess they're that's like, true. like, you love me for a thing. Evil I'm going to do everything. Blue pants. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, using their own momentum against them. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I never realized how much he looks like Soda Popinski, but he really does. You know who he's married to? No. Who's that? Eddie's daughter, Eddie oh, Guerrero's. Really? Oh. Yeah. He is, he is in the Guerrero family. Vicky's daughter. Yeah, Eddie and Vicky, yeah. <laughs> I kind of miss Vicky Guerrero. She went like back to college. No, got really? remarried. Oh, yeah. Okay. I think though, like she'll nobody be back. Got she'll be back. Fucking booze like she did. Like yes. it was a fucking chorus of booze when she came out. Which like, talk about her out. Talk about somebody who turned the heat, right? Yeah. Because it was all the heat in wanting to love her. For, sure. Because everyone loved Eddie so yeah. much. See so what all that Eddie love pour into one person. Yeah. And then she fucking. And then to turn it. Yeah. Turned it. Just being the, the cougar and fucking around and being fucking <laughs> power hungry, like making out with Dolph Ziggler. Oh yeah. Did you see Dolph Ziggler's tweet by the way? No. He knows that the internet wrestling community doesn't like him anymore. He like tweeted out he was like, I'm not I'm not so hot on the internet these days. I thought he is. Is he not? People on like Squared Circle fucking hate him now. Really? Yeah. What? You I want to know what? His character got kind of stale, and the overselling is annoying. And you know, like he's he's just flopping around all the time. Like he's so fucking hurt. You want to know what I think? Part of it is is mm. that the internet got wrapped up in this idea that he would go to Lucha Underground. That his, um, that his contract that was ending. That could be. Yeah. And that and so and that he's getting kind of buried on the on the WWE roster. Well, I mean, listen, ways. that's that's a fact. I mean, yeah. like, but I agree. Listen, like he he. He needs to. You, you know where he'd be a god. Hmm. NXT. Yeah. He's got he's got some cool shit. Like, did you watch? It was, I, can't, I think it was the last pay per view that he was in. I can't remember which one it was. But he had three vests on. Yeah. Did you see that? He took yeah. one vest off, and he had another one. They took that off, and there's another vest on. I think he's gonna have a that fucking. I think he's gonna have a hell of a match against Rusev tomorrow. Hmm. Good point. By the way, we're drinking Brooklyn's tonight. Oh, yeah, these are Brooklyn's. Everyone should make their own Brooklyn. Essentially, it's a Manhattan without the cherry. That's yeah, pretty much it. Exactly. That's simple. I mean, I guess we could have put, like, a mini Coney Island hot dog on a stick in there or something. <laughs> but that's just Shit, we should have got fucking Nathan's <laughs> yeah. hot dogs. Yeah. Can we get Nathan's hot dogs delivered? <laughs> yeah. DoorDash. Nice little Alexa shot there, just to keep everybody interested. Well, we do a rest hold up here. 
I kind of feel like this is going to be the villains going over. I think it could be. Because I feel like this is going to be the finish is Alexa trying to fuck shit up. Yeah. And, and Blue, Blue Pants, Pants comes in and saves it. it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Blake and Murphy have been champions for quite a fucking while now, right? And like that would be a good program. Of, they won it off of um, Lucha Dragons. Yeah. Yeah. We haven't had a single other per- And we've had... Like, who? how many people have even really challenged them for it? Uh, Enzo and Cass, pretty much. Oh, uh, Enzo and Cass. That's yeah. pretty much the only people. So, with, yeah, Lucha Dragons. Uh, well, Lucha Dragons came back for their rematch. Yeah. Then we had a small, like, feud with Enzo and Cash where they never got there, right? Uh, well, no, or it was, Cass, it yeah. was, it was the Alexa heel turn. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. I remember that, yeah. Yeah. Because she was, like, a solo face, kind yeah. of. And then yeah. she came in and fucked yeah. Enzo and Cass. That's right. Uh-oh. Dude, Leva Bates is going to be fucking great in NXT. Oh, that's such a great double team. Break it up. Oh, he kicked out. Okay. I thought for sure that was going to be like, you have to run in and break that up. <laughs> what? <laughs> I can't believe it. How is there not a Reddit that is just our what faces? <laughs> There actually probably is. There, there has to be. Come on, where's our hot tag? Get it. Uh-oh. Can he make it? Oh, no. no. No! Kick him! Kick him! Yes! Nice. The heavy. Gotch. The yeah. strongest love, man in the world. I love that he's not big at all. <laughs> and he's, he's supposed to be super strong. <laughs> nice! Oh! Oh no! Now they're gonna Did he do that on purpose? Now they're gonna feud with each other. Okay, where's Alexa Bliss? Here's where she comes in. Uh oh. Giant leaping tag. <laughs> that was pretty sick. Actually, I haven't tweeted out. We gotta tweet out that we're here. Oh, this is dangerous, Michael. Okay, here is this the part where Leva Bates gets in there? Oh! oh! He's so strong! Yes! Oh! Senton off the top ropes. This is Alexa. Oh, my God. He kicked out of that. How did he kick out of that non-finishing move? Yes. Get Gosh back in there. Oh, here she is. Get over there, Leva. Blue pants! Yeah! Tell you what, Leva actually looks like she could fucking throw some hands. Uh oh. I think she like must have recently cosplayed as Joker or something. Uh, well, no, that's her bit. Like, you know why she's yeah, she blue cos- pants? She, she, well, yeah, but she's those Cause, are because uh, those are Kitty Pride pants. Yeah, X Men, whatever. Yeah. yeah. She doesn't even work here. No, 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 not the roll up. No. Yes. Yes, the strongest Ooh. man in the world. <laughs> oh. Yes. Neckbreaker. Here it is. is. One, two, three. Yes. yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. There it is. Oh. Tag team champions.
<laughs> Holy shit. That was awesome. But seriously, they've been like one of the longest running tag teams in NXT, right? Like they were around. Yeah. They were around with uh, like the Ascension and shit. Like when oh, they, yeah, you know yeah, yeah. That was a great match. Prof Pod, congratulations, gentlemen. I congratulate you on the lofty <laughs> achievement. <laughs> so I was at a house show, an NXT house show, and it was uh -huh. them versus Enzo and Cass. And it was like, let's go, Enzo. Uh -huh. And uh, Simon Gotch just turns to the crowd and goes, they're going nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> the salt. See, all you got to do is add blue pants. Instant champions. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at that. I'm so jealous because I was at I was at the uh, San Jose show before uh -huh. WrestleMania, and it was that exact same type of crowd where it was just like yeah. so many fucking just marks. <laughs> yes. Oh my god, that was great. That was really good. All right, so now. One, I mean, this, one is, title this is change. the reason why yeah. you should be telling your friends about wrestling, yeah. right? Yeah. NXT? Yeah. Like, I was, it was funny because you took Garrett to go to see NXT, right? When you yeah. were in Florida? Yeah. And he's, like, not a wrestling fan. No. Never has been. And so I was like, if you're going to go see a show that's going to make you suddenly like wrestling, you go to an NXT show. And now and, and he's like, yeah, he's like, dude, I, I get it. Well, because it wasn't him. Yeah. It was his girlfriend. Oh, uh, okay. His, his soon-to-be wife. Yeah. His, because, fi his fiance. Because she was the one that was like apparently a she WCW used to be mark. A WCW, yeah. And yeah. like she used to really like uh, Sting. I think was her person. Yes. Yeah. And all of a sudden it was like, oh wait, hold on, whoa, 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 Garrett. Yeah. All of a sudden, wait, your your cool friends are coming into town, taking <laughs> yeah. us to wrestling. Yeah. No, 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 no. We're back into wrestling yeah. as a family. This is crazy. I should have not planned to do anything this weekend. Except my just dumb watch ass, wrestling. Yeah, my yeah. dumb ass fucking, I'm, go, I'm going to Because didn't, didn't ROH have a pay-per-view last night? Yeah. Are you watching any of the New Japan stuff these days? I caught a few matches from the G1. I, I wish that they would do more. I, I want English commentary because it's really hard for me to watch it with the yeah. Japanese commentary. That's the only thing. But so I tweeted at Kenny Omega uh -huh. because I would like found this like really old Kenny Omega match like from his first like not it wasn't his first match but it was like his first affiliation or whatever like the first time he was actually with an organized yeah. wrestling company. And oh, I, dude, I the WCW it. shot. Nice. But I tweeted at him and it was like six hours before that and he actually tweeted back at me like right then and there. Oh, oh, the man Neville. that gravity forgot. WWE superstar. Nearly WWE World Heavyweight Champion. Yep. When we saw when it. When we yeah. saw it. Yeah. Live. By the way, you know who I got a, a tweet back from? Huh. Really? Bailey. Nice. Uh, yeah, no, it was... Uh, because I had a, a shot from Nertacular uh -huh. where I was pouring a bunch of... Oh, you of were wearing the baby Rick shirt, Rick Rubin! Right? <laughs> nice. Of course, one of the people who made Brooklyn famous. <laughs> Dude, by the way, uh, Rick Rubin, I was... Uh, you ever listen to the Cheap Heat podcast? Uh, a little bit, yeah. So, uh, 
uh, one of the, the hosts there, Peter Rosenberg, goes and visits uh, uh, Rick Rubin. Mm-hmm. He's like, all right, so you're, like, you're into wrestling. Like, how into wrestling are you? And he's like, I, I don't know, man. Uh, I'm like halfway through this week's SmackDown. <laughs> 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 like, and he felt bad about it. Like, yeah. he felt like ashamed. Yeah. That, like, he hadn't watched all of SmackDown that week. Yeah. That dude is fucking way more into wrestling than yeah. any of us. Yeah. I'm actually, so I'm at the point when uh, I first Brett got... Man, welcome, welcome, welcome to the show. We are oh, watching. Shit, Brett Man. So when I first got back into wrestling, I was watching Raw and SmackDown and, like, Superstars and, like, everything. Or Main Event. Yeah. Like, I was watching, like, everything. Everything. Every week. Yeah. Now I'm, like, been I've been watching it now again for, like, a few years. And now I'm kind of just... I just watch Raw yeah. and NXT. Yeah. And then I skip SmackDown. All Unless right. I hear that something cool happened. Oh, here we go. That's me! <laughs> that's my name on the floor! <laughs> <laughs> I love oh this. My God. I love this. The guy that's way into his own entrance. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all these people! Okay, if you have never seen the man that is about to come to the ring right now wrestle... I've actually never watched a match of his. You are fucking in for a treat. Yeah, I know he's like a freak in fucking nature that can just do all kinds of crazy shit. Uh, so he... He's fucking strong, Jesus. So number one, he's fucking got the look, right? Right yeah. now... Uh, Allegedly, uh, rumor is uh-huh. that uh, Vince McMahon decided that Big E Langston would be a new heavyweight champion uh, on a European tour when he saw him take off his shirt. We might see him decide yeah. that that man is going to be champion because of what he j- did just there. That dude has the look. Oh, he is jacked as fuck, and watch what he can do in the ring. He was formerly known as Uha Nation, uh, yeah. U H A A. Nation, if you want to look it up. Uh, it's Black Kurt Angle. <laughs> so here's the thing. This guy is a fucking freak. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I love this gimmick, though. That's pretty good. I actually like that this guy and and uh, Jason Jordan went from like the most boring tag team ever. They're actually yes. both individually entertaining. Are great, yeah. yeah. That veteran presence. That's awesome. Oh. <laughs> 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 Holy shit. No, he's got like Adrian Neville moves yeah. with the rock's body. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Finally figure out how to get over as a heel. Be fucking ridiculous. Yeah. See, now people, all right. King Joey 51A says over under on, I, until somebody says Apollo Creed. That's not an over under. That's a prop bet. Yeah. Prop bet, will somebody say Apollo Creed? Over under is how long will this match go from right here? Two minutes, four minutes, five minutes. Set your over under. 
Uh, Brett Man, is there a place to stream this online? Yes, WWE.com. I believe you can still sign up for yeah, a free month. Yeah, you can get free month, and then you essentially get this. So just cancel you get it this a month and from SummerSlam now. SummerSlam yeah. too, right? Yeah, you yeah. get SummerSlam tomorrow. This is fucking. You're gonna want to watch because I think the match after this is Enzo and Cass. Oh yeah, uh, and that is going to blow the goddamn roof off yeah. this. You want to see an old school '90s wrestling pop? Yeah, you're gonna see that in fucking ten oh. minutes. Also, we are about to get to the point where fucking Apollo Cruz just does nineteen fucking insane yeah, comes, finishing moves. Here comes and all fucking, the flippy shit. Yeah. Although I wouldn't mind a program between these two. These guys work really, really well. Okay, King Joey. Asshole. All right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, listen, there's only so long you can be born of and raised around well, gambling addicts before you get very particular is, though, about gambling phrases. King, King Joey actually uh, won his own bet or, or settled his own bet. Yes. Because... In the phrasing of asking about the bet, he actually did one half of it. <laughs> he did. <laughs> Indeed, he did. Oh, Jesus. Shades of JBL. Okay, here it comes. The flurry. <laughs> 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 oh, there it is. Oh, oh, god damn. So that's his finisher? Yeah. Stand the standing, standing moon uh, song. Okay. Cuz he's got that fucking that that Brock Lesnar when he would do the shooting star press oh, yeah, kind of thing yeah. where it's like he's so athletic yeah. that he does the spin like halfway in the air yeah. like he doesn't start doing the well, spin well he yeah he leapt and then spun yeah yeah He's almost one of those guys where it's like you feel like he's going to hurt himself just yeah, cuz he's going King so Joey high. Tondagasa holy crap yeah. damn <laughs> I mean, that's the thing. Who can do the gorilla press to yeah. the fucking standing moonsaw? Like, a lot of people can do one. Not a lot can do both. No. Sounds like Dr. Bird is enjoying himself. Yeah. Dr. Bird and Apollo Crews uh, Mark, apparently. Okay, we might, are right, here. Let, 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 let's try to get Dr. Bird in here. Oh, wait, so they're doing their own G1? Big, long, multiple fucking month tournament? That sounds sweet. Rick Rubin approves. <laughs> yeah, he's into it. I tell you, ran into Corey Graves at a Star Wars celebration. No. Yeah. Seems like a cool guy. 
And like, I didn't say hi to him because yeah. I thought that he was just there to be there because Anaheim is so much like Orlando. Uh huh. Like yeah, it has it's Disney, just for conventions and yeah. like you know yeah. it has convention centers. So it's like I thought, oh wait, he's in Orlando. Yeah. Like, and I thought I was in Orlando for a hot second, but I didn't realize he was there shooting. Yeah. The WWE fucking show. Oh my god, that guy made it. What I hate about these. Oh, they're getting booed. Good, yeah. like an old ECW what crowd. What I hate about these tough enough guys is that, like, most of them don't seem like they give a shit about wrestling. Like they just wanted to be on a show. Oh shit, son. All right. Do we hear the prop bet? <laughs> Do we hear the uh the immovable force, whatever saying. Versus the point. irresistible yeah, object. Yeah, Did yeah. Did we hear that during some sometime during this match? I made an impact on my own back. See, I don't know why they don't put him in jeans. Yeah. Jeans would be better. Damn. He was a fat guy. Oh, I didn't realize he was an old lineman. So he lost That's a shit ton of weight. That's why. Yeah, that makes yeah. more sense now. Now his stomach is starting to make sense. That's great. That's a great gimmick. Just the anti smart. Yeah. That's awesome. So this has to end with Samoa Joe going over. But, I think so. But Baron looking good. Yeah. Right? I think you might see not, Samoa not Joe cap. kick out of end of days and be like the first guy to ever do yeah. that or something like that and then and then get the choke out. And maybe they go with the pass out thing too. Or maybe, or maybe no. Even, or, 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 or yeah. Like oh, a pass tap. out. Yeah, a pass you know out I mean? would be yeah. good. The Stone Cold. They, they've done that now a few times. Remember, uh, hey buddy. for the longest time, that's how Rusev like was beating all the like top guys. Yeah, things that weren't having them tap, so he, he like made them all pass out. Except you want to know what I really love about the women's wrestling now on on WWE yeah. uh, on the main roster is that like submission wrestling is a thing. Yeah. No, it's that's their like that's like half the roster's finishers, and it's yeah. great. Yeah, because at least like it like it legitimizes it. I mean, yeah. not to get all fucking Jr., but like you know. No, it's true. It's, it's a storytelling option. <laughs> yeah. That's why you should have time well, limits. Yeah. It's just a way to tell a story. But it's you, the the more real you present it, the competition, the better it is. The more you're invested. I mean, I personally want to see matches end on non finishers and stuff too, just so you always feel like you're not sure if they're going to kick out or not. 
Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's hard because it's yeah. like you don't want to go watch the Avengers and have an end when like Captain America gets hit by a car. Well, no, it's true. Like you want to you want to see the finisher, but like on non pay per views and stuff like that, I would like to see like a like you know a suplex off the top ropes finish a match sometimes. Just so that it's like a kayfabe. Is this is this not a big move. reaction for Samoa Joe? No, I see him into it. We better get it. Yeah. No, there we go. We need to get an arena wide. Joe is gonna kill you. Yeah, yeah. Is this the biggest audience Joe has ever wrestled for? I mean, TNA never had huge ass audiences. Really. Never sold out arenas like this. No. Uh, but Joe's done some stuff in Japan too, right? He's probably been in front of some pretty big crowds there. What's Barry Corbin doing in the Impact Zone? <laughs> <laughs> no, it'd be like. <laughs> What is Corby Baron doing in the <laughs> yeah, Impact Corby Zone? Corby Baron, exactly. <laughs> oh, uh, Smark. Smark writes, uh, did you see my new shirt? Yes. Can you please link that in the chat? What's up? What's up, have you, have you been? Do you, like, be the bird guy sometimes? You, can you walk around outside? Oh, no. No? no. Okay. He's too young. Yeah. We haven't trained him. Wings not clipped. Oh, no. Yeah, we let him fly. Yeah. He, uh, That's good. In fact, he's getting a little restless right now. He's probably going to fly around. We used to have uh, parakeets like uh -huh. when I was a kid. But we, for a while, we had one that was super territorial and would kill the second one every oh, really? single time we get another one. Until finally uh, we got one that was like kind of injured it had like one foot was kind of messed up and it was kind of off a little bit yeah and it actually like took to that one and kind of took care of it and that one we could take out of the cage but we had a dog yeah and one time my mom took it out of the cage had the parakeet on her shoulder and the dog just like jumped up and bit the parakeet oh no and killed it yeah and then we never had birds again after that. yeah <laughs> we we're like no more birds no that's why we had, uh one of our uh, adopted ones uh came from a family that the er, uh, cockadiel fell in love with the dog and oh, loved yeah. the dog. Yeah. But they knew that they yeah, could never have it. Yeah, you can't put that together. Because yeah. the, the dog thought that, that it was just... Sorry. Sorry, Brett, man. Uh, Brett, man, uh, can I ask a quick question, uh, a quick question about the contender? Yes, you can. In fact... This live stream is brought to you by The Contender, thecontender.us slash kickstarter. Support the most popular political kickstarter of all time by giving us some money for a card game that's really fun. Uh, Bob Kelly, I could see Justin walking around like doc with Dr. Bird like he was Coco <laughs> Beware. Yeah. I am, I am many uh, podcasting uh, wrestling metaphors. Uh, I am... The Brock Lesnar of podcasting. I only show up for the important shit. <laughs> <laughs> I am the Coco Beware of podcasting. I always show up with a bird on my shoulder. I am the Virgil of podcasting. I'm only here for the money. <laughs> the John Cena of podcasting. You always in that over. I never give up. <laughs> yeah, you never give up. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry wins law. Oh, that's that's clearly a disadvantage. The lack of footage. <laughs> <laughs> I would have beaten you if I'd had some more footage. Oh, come on, Baron. Oh, nice. <laughs> it's the half crab. Changing his strategy. In the cross space. Joe could 
be looking for submissions early right now. Well, Corbin, Corbin's in trouble here. Corbin has to get to the bottom rope. He's close. He looks like he's going to tap. Uh, Brett, man, yes, you can back at whatever level you want, uh, and, and you can update it. Uh, and if you live in San Francisco, we'll make it work. Just stay in touch. But back it, and if you are going to back it, and we're going to be friends, and you're going to be awesome, and you're watching right now, share it. Be evangelistic. Go. None of this is shit you need, Dr. Bird. Oh! oh. <laughs> nice face plant, Baron. Ooh. See, I think this might be. Oh, I think I know what we're seeing. I think we're seeing the Paul Heyman how to get Tommy Dreamer over. Have the Sandman. How, yeah, have him just beat, beat the, the crap out living of him forever. shit yeah. out of him. Yeah. And get the crowd respectful but of him. But they just respect because, him because he just keeps going. Because he took the beating. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> Dr. Payne, sup, you bunch of marks. <laughs> sup, homie. We've already marked out uh, several times. And we're, what, four matches in? Yeah. We had the Blue Pants mark. We had the Bod Villains winning mark. In fact, I'll tell you what. We're going to have to edit this. Edit chat. Oh, yeah. There we go. So when we need to, we can go to the mark. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to have to go back in the cage. If you want oh. To nope. That was like a sideways slam end of days ish type of move there. So now they both manhandled each other, apparently. So did the same guy say that he's never seen Baron Corbin manhandled and then also said he's never seen Samoa Joe manhandled like this? The exact same set of comments. I think so. This is stuff we've never seen, folks. <laughs> no one's ever seen any of this. Wait, what are people reacting to? LOL, nice, woo. May, are they ahead of us? Behind us? Have you guys seen the finish of this? Are we super <laughs> late? <laughs> We're live. Crowd's definitely into Samoa Joe for sure. Well, yeah, because they're a bunch of goddamn marks. Yeah. Uh oh. Oh, they're marking out for the mark cam. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Deeps, you're gonna go in as soon as this match is over. <laughs> Doctor is being uncooperative. Well, I mean, he's got a bird brain. <laughs> he's like, fuck you. <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy. It's like your mom does. Yeah. <laughs> I just cut a promo on Dr. Bird. <laughs> oh, goddamn. That's some strength. You're about five seconds ahead of Jerry? Okay. We want to make another Brooklyn here in a second. Yeah, we might be at that point. In fact, actually, I think I might go for a beer in between. 
A beer to space it? Yeah. Because, I mean, we got, like, another, like, two hours. That's true. There's a shit ton left. Yeah. Yeah. There's a double main event for this one. I like that they build it as a double main event. And both are going to go for 30. Oh, yeah. They're going to be long matches. Right, Deebs? Right, Deebs? What's going on? Oh! No. Oh, oh, nice. Oh. Pass out finish. Pass out finish. Pass out finish. He's right in the middle of the ring. He'll never tap. There it is. All Pass right, we're going to get finish. the arm. Yeah, the arm, the, arm lift. the three, the three. That's yeah, it. That it. We, Pass out we called finish. it. We called That's it. That's good. No, no, no. Yeah. That's good booking. That's no, good like booking. It. Now he has to sell it by actually laying in the middle of the ring for a while. Oh, okay. What happened? What happened? Did I win? <laughs> but I'm a winner. But all I did was make a phone call. The show is scheduled to be over at 11. For who? For New uh, York? Yeah. That would be a two-hour show, though. 9 to 10, 10 to 11. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, you're right. How deep are we now? We're already an hour in. Is it? It's not a three-hour show? They have a lot of matches. No, Prof Pod says I forgot about time zones. Yeah, we're halfway done. Yeah, about half. Yeah. Oh wait, no. A little over halfway, or no, under halfway. I'm guessing this is like going to be a three-hour show. Yeah. Is my guess. So it'll end at nine for us, midnight for right. them. Doctor Bird, you're going back in the goddamn cage. You were being a real nice bird for a little bit. Everybody, say goodbye to Doctor Bird. Be the star. Say hello. Hi, doctor. I'm good for now. Oh, team bad. Oh, that's right. Team bad with Sasha Banks now. Take a peek in there. Make sure that bird cage is closed. Yeah, you're good. Yeah. Sam from Michigan says NXT takeovers are usually yeah, two usually hours. I'm two pretty hours, sure, but they're also in usually in Orlando. <laughs> yeah, they usually have full sail, and this one they're traveling. There's like oh, double the matches. She gonna have her mic drop moment. You follow either of them on Twitter? No. Her Triple H? No. Like it's either promo or them doing vines of each other working out at like one yeah. in the morning. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen like I. They have a know. very weird marriage. Oh, by the way, check this shit out.
There we go. Our nice. diamond club. That's awesome. <laughs> Think you can tell me what to do? <laughs> How many? And there are many more watching all around the world live on the WWE Network, and we are all watching for one reason, for N15 K. And it feels so good. The energy is so palpable because all of us together, we are all making history right here, right now. See, here's the thing. They just need to be character faces. Triple H and Stephanie. Well, the, it was a weird thing, right? When she was suddenly a face for that Divas Revolution announcement. Remember that? The, when she first, yeah. like, brought, yeah. like, all of a sudden she was a face out of, with no explanation as to why. Yeah, we don't really need an explanation. Yeah. Fuck it. Wait, is this not the the four way? Oh, we're not getting that on the main show. Oh shit! No, we're not yeah, getting it. we're not getting it on the main show. Oh, I say they're saying that that's for the next episode of NXT that they recorded an hour before. Oh, gotcha. That's too bad. I was looking forward to seeing Enzo. Oh, I guess that was the early, the early hour. Yeah. She's really amazing. She's This is great. Yeah, this is really good. <laughs> I guess there is stopping us oh, now. <laughs> I feel heartbreaking. so bad right now. Feels bad, man. Super Bailey to Bailey. Yep. Oh my oh, God! They found girl that little crying. girl. <laughs> I mean, you can't make her. You can't deny her again, <laughs> I right? Know. You can't. It's Bailey. I... Well, repping my Bailey shirt right now. If they. Rip our hearts out one more time. I'm so jacked for Bailey right now. Everyone agree <laughs> that Bailey wins tonight? <laughs> I don't know. It would be quite just the fucking troll job from WWE to have her lose. 
But that's the beautiful part about wrestling is yeah. we don't know. It could like, do it. Because also This could be the slowest of burns it, right here. And also if they troll us this hard, yeah. Yeah. like what's the payoff? Yeah. WrestleMania? <laughs> yeah, Bailey main eventing WrestleMania. Finally. Daniel Bryan style. What if oh, they have shit. her win with like a quick count or something like that? Dude, it's it, fast it, count and then in the white Shawn Michael fringe. <laughs> See, here's why she's also perfect for the main roster. Cheap pyro. <laughs> yeah. You just get some big ass things and fill them with air. I mean, listen. Oh. If fucking every uh, rando fucking. <laughs> that guy got a Bailey hug. If every like. Jealous. Uh, car sales lot in the country can have one WWE can have six if they move it's a shame I love both these girls see yeah oh slap bracelet slap bracelet friends for life oh yeah don't don't leave that kid hanging nice ultimate face move leave no one hanging what's a tag team tournament yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Oh, she's I got... Feel like they oh, my God. Some... She's got the dusty headband. She's yeah. got to win. Yeah. She's got the and dusty the armbands, armbands and the headbands. Yeah. Oh, shit. Sasha's ratchet. <laughs> no, she's not. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Hashtag squad goals. <laughs> That's the boss. This is an amazing entrance. <laughs> In the wow. Escalade. Oh my god. Women's wrestling is fucking so much more exciting than men's wrestling right now. <laughs> yeah. Like if if even just because there's a wider palette to paint on. Sure. Like there's just different ways you can go with it. Yeah. Like No, I agree. You know, if you are a men's wrestler, you can only be as good as Hulk Hogan or The Rock. Sure. If you are the best women's wrestler ever, you have a chance to be the best women's wrestler Ever, right? Yeah. Like, like, it, like you're defining. You can set a new what bar. What is yeah, yeah. what is good? Yeah. What's the best? This is fucking sweet. God, I oh just. Oh my god. Just let Triple H take over. Just let him take over everything. For God's sakes, this is fucking what wrestling is. A good guy versus a bad guy in the starkest terms, yeah. right? This yeah. is about as, as as dark black and as white white racial lines. <laughs> whatever. They're actually both very olive like, colors, but yeah. yes. <laughs> uh, but like, and I care about both of them. Yeah, yeah. And I'm entertained no, I like by both, of, both I like of them. Both of them. I love but both I, of them right now. Except for the fact that I hate, I Sha hate I Sasha, hate right Sasha yeah. and I love <laughs> Bailey. Yeah. It will legitimately. You will watch me live right here on this live stream. Get to the mark. My cam. heart will break. Get Fuck the mark. Oh cam my going. god. No, we're you're marking. right. No, no, we're marking. <laughs> we're marking out, bro. We're marking out right now. Like a solid boo. Oh, this is what <laughs> wrestling is. This, this is wrestling. <laughs> this is wrestling. Sasha truly believes she is the baddest diva around. So we really want to mark out. Now we start talking about, you know, who's, who's like technically better, who we think is going to win and all that, as if this is totally undetermined. Well, I mean, 
Like, Bailey's, ba like, it, okay, neither of these guys. So, all right, here, in kayfabe? Yeah, in break kayfabe. It down in kayfabe. Break it down in kayfabe. Uh, this is Sasha's match. Sasha's Sasha the only better needs, wrestler. Sasha only needs yeah. one opening yeah. to tap you out. Sure. She's Ronda Rousey. Yeah. Like, but like Bailey though is a, a somewhat of a never give up type, right? Like no, she, but but has but, she tapped? Can you yes. remember her oh, tapping? Yeah. No, 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 she's yeah? tapped. Okay. She's tapped. She's tapped. All right, so she'll tap. So Sasha should win. Yes. It, but it, Bailey is determined it, because she has more motivation. Well, I mean, like right she's now. faced Sasha quite yeah. a bit. She knows her moves. She knows what to not fall into. And she's a better striker. And she's got that donk. Yeah. For real, though. She's got the power of Dusty behind her right now, though. Dusty won't let her lose. Uh, for the record, having uh, representing Dusty Rhodes as the super over face in New York... Not a great track record. <laughs> <laughs> Dusty didn't do a whole yeah, lot of championship point. winning no. outside of the South. <laughs> Bailey Mania. Uh -oh. Tree of Woe. <laughs> Here we go. Do you feel like we're going to see Bailey? Oh! oh! I've never God. seen that come out of that uh, situation before. Do you think? Okay. Do you think we're gonna see Bailey use like non Baileyish tactics, if you will? Yes. Because she's uh, now desperate to actually aggressive. Pull this off. That yeah. looks so fucking good. God damn, these two work so well together. Sasha's <laughs> <laughs> ratchet chanting it. Oh, I'm ratchet. Oh, I'm ratchet, huh? <laughs> Oh! She's got the champion's advantage. Never forget that. The good news is there's plenty of tape on both of these. Yeah. On both of these guys. <laughs> so there's no tape advantage. Oh, yeah. Sneak attack. Sneak attack. Yeah. Oh, Sammy Zayn! Sammy Zayn callback. Sammy Zayn! <laughs> You know who'd be sweet to make the next like comeback into uh, into NXT from like somewhere else? Yeah, is uh, uh, John Morrison. He wants to be back. Uh, he wants WWE. to be back, but yeah. I think like right now he's kind of at the height of like what he can do. Yeah, and it would be so perfect. Like as they move people up, there's room for these kind of returns. You know, I mean, Morrison in NXT would be a freak show. Yeah, it'd be insane. Yeah. But I mean, imagine him with like Question is, Apollo though, Cruz matches could be awesome. Insane, you know. I yeah. mean, like like athletic freak yeah. shows. Sam from Michigan says Sasha and Bailey, the female Sean and Brett. Here, the like yes is your answer. The problem is, is that like how many Sean and Bretts can we have in the female division <laughs> right now? Yeah. Because you could say Sasha fucking uh, Becky is Sean and Brett. Sasha, or sorry, uh, uh, Bailey Charlotte is Sean and sure. Brett. They all work so fucking well together. <laughs> <laughs> Troll job to by really Sasha. To really finalize that comparison, though, they also have to like kind of hate each other, though, right? Like have that super I deep mean, feud that lasts basically well, no, fucking years. To be fair, what they really are are like. Morrison the, signed a seven-year deal with Lucha. Well, okay, rip dreams. I mean, <laughs> that's fine one, though. He's gonna do sweet shit there. I, I, I've already watched a bunch of his matches there. Uh, Lucha Underground had to wonder whether or not they were gonna get a season two. So, like, yeah. yes, he signed a seven-year deal with Lucha sure, Underground. Sure, yeah, yeah. But like, if they were a financially stable thing as opposed to a television Unless show Lucha on a network down, that doesn't go. get any fucking viewing, King Joey just viewers, made the same exact point. Yeah. yeah. Seven years means until we go run out of money. 
Yeah. So, like, sure. Uh, as long as Lucha Underground gets money, John Morrison will be there unless yeah. he finds a way to break that contract, for which I'm going to take a wild guess and say he can. No. Come on. Come on. No. Okay. Such a good heel. Like enjoying rest holds, inflicting pain. <laughs> Dismantling Bailey, looking beautiful, feeling good, looking good. <laughs> Oh, that was fucking brutal. She just million dollar babied her on the fucking middle turnbuckle there. Yep. She's set up. Vintage Banks! Oh. oh, that looks so good! <laughs> nice! Oh. Set her up again. Combo to a combo. Set her up again. Yeah, you just gotta soften that belly. Oh! oh. Doing it from the top! And she looks at the crowd <laughs> yeah. like she knows she bad. <laughs> wow, she's going to come in from the other side, too. Pulling out all the stops. Yeah. <laughs> she's taking away her greatest weapon, Maggle. Her <laughs> Bailey. <laughs> Dude, I love when that knot rides super high and she's got the fucking Marge Simpson beehive on the top of her head. Yeah. It's like when Tyler Breeze's hair comes undone and then suddenly it's like, now he means business. Like it just rises until yeah. it comes out with the fucking top knot. Yes. Mark Cam. <laughs> oh my good God, that was fucking yeah! awesome. That was the best. Oh, the timing of that was so good. That was a plant spot. Why don't any of the ladies dunk their head in a bucket of water before the match? <laughs> it that would, would be make awesome. it really good. That it would, would be make a cool it really good. For somebody. Shit, man, we should fucking download the Bullhorn app. Uh oh. Check the nose. Check the money maker. Oh, got the Becky Lynch armbar. Oh, she's ripping off all of her friendship bracelets. Oh, that's right. She's supposed to have an injured hand. I yeah, she has a that. fucked up yeah. hand. That's another thing about NXT. The commentary actually makes sense to the like. It actually <laughs> brings you into the match. Yeah, reminds you of things you're supposed to know. They don't have to like sell the WWE app every 15 minutes. Oh! The heel going after the injury? No way. Now I've seen everything. <laughs> Damn. That actually looked really fucking real. That looked like that really fucking hurt. I'm sure it did. Oh, no. No. Don't do this. Oh, don't do this. Oh, no. Don't do this. Oh, god damn it. Sasha, you... you're a ruthless bitch. How do you fake that? Oh, 
That is... <laughs> like a boss. Oh, I see how they fake it. Okay. You actually kick it away from the hand. She got she could cuss herself on the landing there. Jesus. Wow. <laughs> Fans marking out for Planche every out time. For the mark <laughs> uh, yeah, no, we will always mark out for Planches because it's always somebody throwing themselves over a rope and fucking yeah. into somebody else. That's insane. It's an in If you saw that at your work, it would be the <laughs> craziest thing you've ever seen at your work. If they set, like, a big giant pad down, I still don't think I could do that. Like, if there was a fucking, like, Chuck E. Cheese big thing of balls, yeah. I wouldn't be able to, like, leap over a top rope. <laughs> so how is the second main event going to be better than this? We're going to find out. <laughs> yeah, we're going to find out. Holy shit. The thing is, we can't hear it when it's plugged in. Yeah, you want to know what? I'm just going to play it into the mic. Just play it into the mic. There you go. Uh, a ladder match. That's what happens. I mean, okay, sure. A ladder match we between... We introduce ladders. Yeah, by the yeah. way, it's a ladder match between Prince Divot and Kevin Steen. Are you excited? Pretty excited about <laughs> yeah. that, yeah. In front of uh, 15,000 people. When both of these guys have killed each other in front of like 200. Oh my God, I got the mark cam ready. <laughs> oh! oh! <laughs> Do it! Bailey to Bailey. Oh! oh, Jesus! Brutal! Fix the hair. <laughs> oh, oh no! Shit, She's Sasha. not gonna hit it. Oh, they just called it. They called the finishing sequence. This is it. Oh no! She's gonna get her! It's the bank statement! Come on, Bailey! Come on, Bailey! We can't have a second no! We can't have a second pass no! out! We can't have a second pass out! She's gonna king? get there! No! She's come gonna on, get there! Bailey! Come on! You can make it! Come on! Oh no, god damn it! Ow, oh ow, she's ow, stepping ow, on her ow, injured ow. hand! Oh no, now she's got it relocked in. You're almost there. No, yes! What? Oh! Oh no! Oh, she locked her in! She locked her into her own hold! She locked her in! It's the bank! Oh my god! She's gonna oh tap to the bank statement! Oh, she's gonna tap to the bank statement! <laughs> no! She's gonna what lose a the title of the tap out! What a match! <laughs> oh! Oh, Foot to the ropes. my. Foot to the ropes. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Mega Supermark Cam. Cam, Cam. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, my God. That was fucking amazing. Holy shit. What a goddamn spot. This is exactly why this kind of Here you go. By the way, hey, 
WWE, this is your Divas division for the yeah. next fucking 10 years. Let them Let fucking the have matches. Let the four of these people fucking... Oh! oh! She oh! hit it! She hit it! One, two, oh! no! She kicked out! Oh my god. How? How did she kick out of it? Fifteen thousand and two, dude. By the way, Bailey looking more and more like Elvira by the second. Yeah, the hair is just getting more disheveled. It's amazing. On a scale from one to even, I just can't right now. <laughs> yeah, Sasha's Jack. That was just pure instinct, Maggle. Here we go. Oh, it's the super Bailey to Bailey. Oh my God, hands on the button. That'll finish it. Nope. Up. Oh, she's fighting back. She's got her. She's got her. Oh no. Do it. Do it. Holy shit. What? What the that fuck? Really bad. Like was, mid Nuhuna Kanarana. Was that supposed to happen? Okay, she's rolling back into position, so I guess everything's okay. Yeah. Oh! What? Oh my god, what's happening right now? What? How could this have been done? <laughs> god damn it! You have 15,000 people chanting, let's go, Bailey, let's go, Sasha. Just <laughs> give them whatever they want. Just give them time. Let them wrestle. I'm surprised that either one of these are these people are still fucking alive right now. They, have, they are murdering each other repeatedly. I mean, whether or not that was a botch, I don't think that was a botch. It, I don't was think it? so either. I think it was just an awkward landing. Like, I think you think she actually she just fucking launched. Yeah. yeah, but she just got pushed off a little hard, and she tried to come down in a way where she didn't get hurt and kind of hit her face. Oh my god, we're back here again! Yeah! Oh my god! What, what the fuck? A reverse! Yes! Yes! Oh, Bailey to Bailey! One, two, no, no, yes. three! I assume. Oh my god! Yes! No. We froze! Yes! Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh my god! <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, unlimited. <laughs> Hands on. <laughs> that was the worst time for a fucking stream freeze ever. Oh. What the fuck was that? Where's the little girl? Show the little girl crying. Wow. There we go. Wrap in the bay. Rep in the bay. Now Sasha's ready for her uh, main roster run at the title. Perfect. I mean, just let them go. Come yeah, on. Let them go. Just like, listen, you have, you, you have a lot of other very, very good female wrestlers that are great enhancement talent for four women. Bailey, Sasha, Charlotte, and Becky. And yeah. that's it. Yeah. Just let them, you rearrange them, you put them where you need to go. Well, you know, that's mentioned... perfect. I mean, come on. Yeah. Stomping on her fucked yeah. hand. 
Like, well, dude, they fucking both came up the top ropes like six times in this match. But it wasn't like flippy shit. No, no, it was like, like it, it was re- just good ass yeah. wrestling. It was legitimate, like we're trying to hurt each other shit. The thing is, though, too, like if you think about what the what the women's division looks like when you add in all the other people, too, you still got like Emma and Paige and fucking Summer Rae who has some pretty good matches before she went up. I mean, like, but here's the thing: let the Bellas retire. I mean, they're and, fine though. No, like, and they're they're, they're not yeah. bad. They're they're really really good. And by the way, they they're do. over, which is yeah. probably the most important thing in wrestling. But it's like. You know, here's here's what you need to understand. Here's what WWE needs to understand is that we are in a different world. Uh, the niche is closer to the mainstream yeah. than it ever has been before. Sure. And what we are watching right now is an example of it. The niche, the internet fans, yeah. you know, just what people, uh, you know, like who are really, really into it like to watch just sold out the same arena yeah. That they will sell out for SummerSlam oh! and they will sell out for Raw. You're not left out anymore, Bailey. There we go, the four horsewomen. That looks awkward, but oh, yeah. Well, no, it's only because like Bailey's legit crying. Yeah, Bailey, she's actually losing right her now. shit right yeah. now, for sure. I love the fact that in kayfabe, every wrestler who just is hanging out in their wrestling trunks at all times. Oh yeah, like ready whether they're in the show or not, they're ready. You can put put me in, coach. Oh, there oh, we go. Look at this. Wow, is this like curtain call? Curtain this call is the 2.0? Click, click 2.0. Click. <laughs> oh, Four horsewomen. Yep. They're doing it. Wow. There ain't no stopping us wow. now. Wow. Fuck no K-Fame. Who gives a shit? God damn, man. That was epic. That was epic. I mean, like... Even breaking kayfabe have Sasha come back out like that. Is that legit, though? That's like, awesome. like uh, to have him throw the four? Because <laughs> that's got to be the gimmick, right? Now, yeah. when they do it in, like, on, so in the middle of the ring... Enjoy. Someone's getting both titles, right? How no. How then do they later separate Fuck finish. Titles? Fuck finish. Yeah, you think so? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
Title versus title yeah. almost so, always ends so in a fuck finish. Hands, yeah. Hey, uh, Seth Rollins with the girlfriend that got him fucking. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Hey, we've moved on from that. You know? <laughs> We're over it now, says Seth Rollins. NXT, which I've seen a million times. <laughs> what are they doing now? NXT in London. Oh, shit. Yeah, no, they're running the UK for fucking six days. Damn. Alright, I gotta piss before this match. Yeah, this will be a long one. And everyone. He totally destroyed Sami Zayn. Kevin Owens does whatever Kevin Owens wants to do. Owens is cold and vicious. I made my intentions very clear. He's totally destroyed John Cena. Kevin Owens closes his grill on his opponents. Kevin Owens continuing to dominate here at NXT. The demon will slay Kevin Alright, predictions. Predictions. I say Balor goes over, main, maintains the title. Although, we've now had... Two faces win. We've now had two faces win already. 60 minute draw. <laughs> 60 minute draw would be holy fucking shit. Jury facts. Let me check it out. Let me check it out. Sure, I'll follow you, bruh. Boom. Done. Oh, it's a trap, right, man? Shit. Well, I just fell for it. What happened? I just put my foot right into the trap. I followed Jerry Fax back. Oh, no. I gave yeah. Jerry Fax a follow back. No, Jerry Fax is a good getter now. All Japan was was a fluke. I don't just want the NXT title in mind. What I want is a lot of Convince Jerry to get Rocket League. You should I get Rocket League. I don't play video games. You should get Rocket League. I don't play video games. I play Hearthstone. Okay. But you should get Rocket League. It's a pretty fucking fun game. I don't play video games. I mean, it'd be nice. If I yeah. played video games, it'd be if good. If you did, it'd yeah. be a good game it'd be to get, good. for sure. Yeah. Rocket League is sports. There you go. See? <laughs> So, I mean, like, do they go triple face? That's what I was just saying. Like, we've already had two. How how huge meta? Faces. How meta of the booking can yeah. you get? This is epic fucking meta like booking. Like everyone leaves Brooklyn just super happy with a big smile on their face, or do we rip their hearts out right here at the end? I mean, because the most plausible. 
The fact is, though, I, you know, Balor belongs at, at at the big show as much as Owens does. Yeah. So I don't know if you can use that as the argument, like, oh, well, Kevin no, Owens no, no, but, the, but the, this, this isn't developmental. Yeah, exactly. Anymore. Like this is yeah, not developmental. They're two separate products yeah. at this point. Completely, I agree. I love that in they fact, do this too. They show the fucking walk. I, I would not like almost every I would not now. be shocked if uh you know you had to wonder where so I mean this has got to be the biggest and best crowd and I mean yeah. best as a differentiator that Kevin Owens has ever played in front of right like, because well, this, this he's is done WWE pay per views at this point now, but best, no, sure. but that's best yeah. you could say, yeah. He's the biggest fucking dude on this card that has sold out the Barclays Center. Sure. <laughs> By the way, I think he has the only. Intro song that I want to like put on when I'm like at the gym. Yeah, and I just want to listen to it. Although I don't know, Bailey's is pretty fun too. I might listen to Bailey's every now and then. Yeah. <laughs> uh, how much time left on this? I need to hop on Bart in like an hour. You might as well just hop on Bart. Yeah. Because <laughs> this shit's going. 30 plus. Well, if you have an hour, you'll make it. You think so? If he has an hour to get on Bart, yeah. This won't. This match won't go an hour, I don't think. This match will go... Well, we're at 7.52 now. Well? <laughs> huh? I might take that back. I mean... This might go an hour. Because they normally book these halls at an hour. So, like, if they and have... This is either going to go eight minutes or an hour. Because, by the way, uh, well, Finn, the, Finn, Finn, Finn Balor's Finn, entrance. Yeah, yeah. Finn's got Undertaker disease. Like, yeah, that yeah, shit yeah. is going to take 20. Half of that hour is this entrance right here. Oh, my God. That this looks is so good. Great. This is fucking great. I love how he throws himself into it like a fucking drama kid. <laughs> <laughs> what? what the fuck? That's Magic. so bad. Yes. Fuck it, I'm Mark Hamming for the intro. We're making movies. Oh my god. We don't make wrestling shows, we make <laughs> movies. I think it did. <laughs> They'll realize we're making movies. <laughs> That's fucking rad. That was fucking great. Could have been staged better. Like, I'm not going to be nitpicky, but it could have been staged better and it could have looked better. But uh, it's a rad idea, and I'm glad they did it. Yeah, that was fucking sweet. I'm fully into it. Oh, and the belt just waiting for him. <laughs> on time. Always on cue. The moment's happening where he's too sweeting the NWO guys, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that's gonna happen. He might be doing it right here. Uh, Arbiter, we're watching the main event 
for the NXT pay-per-view, uh, NXT TakeOver Brooklyn. Uh, you can sign up for a free account at WWE.com, or if you have the WWE Network, you can watch it. Uh, I would recommend doing it. Just go ahead and set yourself a reminder to cancel the account. It is free, and you can watch SummerSlam tomorrow if you might like it. But it'll be a fun time, because right now, we're about to watch has the capacity to be a five-star classic match. I mean, it is in everyone's mind at this point. Like, everyone is imagining that they're about to lose their shit, and I think that they're actually going to. Well... Like, these guys are actually going to deliver. Like, you know, there's a lot guys, of times where you're like... These guys have never not yeah. done a four and a half. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> I mean, so far, <laughs> so far they haven't done anything, and it's already pretty five star at this point. Dude, Kevin Owens in the lounge, <laughs> like so watching fucking his good. fucking thing. Oh God, this is so good. That was fucking great. Everything about them looks good. <laughs> Kevin Owens with his gut, fucking Finn <laughs> Balor with his shred abs, he's like he's like, fucking. Yo, you finished it? Exactly. <laughs> MacBook Pro, sup, bro? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so where do they get these ladders? Is there only that one ladder? One ladder. There should be a shit ton, right? I was thinking the TLC. All right. Yeah, I mean, it should be a shit ton, right? I was thinking the TLC. Yeah, what are we doing? We punching each other yet? What's up? <laughs> God damn it. He's wrestling. It's a ladder match, not a ladders match. Yeah, sure. But they always have ladders around underneath in, in the stage anyway. Or into the, the ring. The NXT Championship is on the line. Gentlemen, this a ladder match. No pinfalls. No submissions. The first man to climb the Damn, I'm the same weight as Balor. Yeah. <laughs> how, how heavy was KO? They said 240. Drake Wirtz, former Hood Slam competitor. Really? Yeah. yeah. Now, is uh, Drugs Bunny still the leading face of Hood Slam? He is yeah. the, uh, the holder of the golden gig. Yeah. That's a long reign at the top for Drugs Bunny. Well, he, he wanted Entertainia 5, yeah. which was their WrestleMania weekend event. Yeah. Uh, and he has held it since. But they don't change that. That, that doesn't flip very often. Okay. It's usually about once a year. Damn, that shit is fucking high up there. Yeah, Arbiter says, sadly, we won't see uh, Owens walk. It would be fucking amazing. <laughs> He's like, you know what? Nah. <laughs> Listen to what I'm saying to you. God damn it. NXT is so good. Like, I mean, like, like, just look at this talent. This is a dream card. Yeah. This is a fantasy card made by wrestling fans. Like, this right now, a sold-out Barclays Center, the exact same arena that they will sell out for SummerSlam, that they will sell out for Raw, has been sold out for what is essentially a R-squared circle fantasy card. <laughs> Fill in for, like, you know... Yeah. Hot young talent, right? Like, oh, that looked brutal. Well, because that you don't sell that, that. was brutal. <laughs> That's literally yeah. just Kevin yeah. Owens falling. I'm on just you. going to jump on top of you now. 
I'll skip SmackDown, turn up Raw, but I won't skip. Yeah, I think a lot of people are there right now. Well, I mean, like if guys, I miss the Raw, I don't feel that bad about it, right? I'll catch up. Yeah, I mean, like I'll listen, figure it out. What I, I've had pretty much the last two months. I have not been very in tuned on Raw. Like I've watched pay per views. Yeah, but I, I have not watched a whole lot of Raw. But you don't need to anymore. Like, the the packages, like, introduce the fight every single time, right? Well, I mean, like, you know, I, I got, you know, Kickstarter slash wedding you got stuff to slash do. everything, yeah. right? But it's like, NXT, always make a point. Yeah. Always make a point. Because it will always reward me. It will always sure. make me happy. Oh. A mini coup de gras. Dude, Milo, I don't know if you can hear that, but Milo is going nuts for this main event. <laughs> Milo the Bird is freaking the fuck out because he loves so is Milo lo- he is, Kevin he is Owens marking guy out. or uh, Oh no, he yeah, yeah. You think he, Finn all the way? Finn Balor yeah, Mark, right. yeah. Cooper and Doctor, big By Kevin Owens. By the way, Owens I mean marks. I'm wearing a Kevin Owens shirt. Yeah. We have I, a Kevin Owens shirt hanging yeah, up in the background. Yeah. We got our Tyler Breeze shirt hanging up in the background. I mean, I I'm a, I'm a, I want Kevin Owens to win every single time. Like, when Kevin Owens beat John Cena, and everyone was like, there's no way he wins that match, right? By the way, he did, very, very, I went fucking nuts. Very good point by uh, Smart Mark. Uh, Jury, you're talking about Fantasy Card. Last SmackDown was headlined by Cesaro and Neville. So, fucking yeah. uh, Claudio and Pac yeah. versus uh, Tyler, Tyler Black, Black and Kevin and Steen. Kevin Steen, yeah. That's pretty sweet. I mean, that's a fucking ROH card. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Doing Zane the Sammy chance. Zane chant. <laughs> yeah, you know he's going to react. <laughs> oh, oh, it hurt my shoulder. <laughs> That's fucking great. Oh, guillotine. I mean, like, oh, God damn it. If you want to get into, like, the reason why wrestling's so great, it's the fact that, like, that many fans, yeah, 10 plus thousand fans were yelling a thing, and then he reacted. Yeah. Meaning that, like, your brain gets dopamine that, like, you were answered. Yeah. The same with you are always like you always get dopamine when like shit is answered. Well, the, that dude just made fucking yeah, like ten thousand people lose their shit. Yeah. Like no yeah. fans for yeah. life. Yeah, they just oh, were spoken to. God, on an inside joke. Oh, this is gonna. Oh, 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 oh this is gonna be oh. bad. Oh, the senton! The senton! This is—I think he's gonna, is he gonna cannonball this, or is he gonna? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> young bucks, oh young God. bucks spot. Yeah, That's a young buck right spot. Right there, yes. That would've been fucking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, such God, a heel! Kevin such Owens. a heel! Why are you so fucking good? Uh-oh. That was awesome. <laughs> oh, the reversal. Oh, shit. See, this is why a ladder match is fucking fantastic, too. Because there's Especially no for these count. guys. For these yeah. guys. Yeah. There's no count. There's no, like, whatever. Just go at it anywhere you want. Uh-oh. Ooh. The impact. Oh, on the rail. 
Oh my god! When you weigh 240 pounds, by the way, that I've, hurts your like I, kidneys. I've always thought that they should be the NXT Galaxy. Oh, so the because it's WD the WWE universe, universe sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. is the bigger thing. Sure, okay. And they should be the smaller part yeah, of yeah. that. Because I feel like that would also remove them from like. Oh. Oh my! That's how a fucking athletic Finn yeah. Balor is, by the way. Jesus Christ! <laughs> that like he actually could have stood up if he wanted to. <laughs> oh, here we go! A table spot. <laughs> NXT never sees a table spot. No table spot. <laughs> oh my God! I'm marking out. I'm marking out. Table spots. <laughs> Now, how how many years do you think it will be before WWE finally replaces those shitty old ass monitors? Like one day they're gonna actually use just like just iPads, like modern yeah. TV or something. Yeah. What the fuck? Another Wait ladder. Wait a minute! I thought you guys said there can't be another ladder. <laughs> what is happening right now? Oh shit! Oh fuck! <laughs> Actually, that camera work was pretty fucking good right there. That was so legit. Did his leg go into it? Ooh. No, he got it clean. Do you remember that was good. Uh, who was it? It was one of the Wyatt guys when he they had the ladder match and he dove out of the ring. And fucking like looked like he broke his arm because it went through the ladder. Oh shit! You remember yeah, that? Yeah. yeah. That was fucking brutal. All right. <laughs> we won, won tables. tables. <laughs> fucking entitled marks. <laughs> yeah. This isn't enough for me. I also want tables. Oh, oh. god damn it! <laughs> I mean, like, here's the thing. They've been doing this in the shittiest venues oh, yeah. forever. I've seen coup de gras where he almost hits his head on the ceiling because it's a fucking tiny room. Too short. Oh, that ladder's too small. He's got to stand all the way on the top rung. You got to go find a bigger ladder. Uh, jury, ECW style arenas. Okay. Ooh. Yes. Yes, ECW style arenas. Only in that, like, ECW was effectively a small rent independent organization that got nationally prominent. Like, what but they you... had a decent arena, though, for most of their shit, right? No. No? <laughs> no. Because, like, like, a lot of I mean, pay reviews no, no, were no, in that no. one specific it, place. It had high ceilings. Sure. Uh, well, no, it, it was wasn't, not yeah, it wasn't decent. Like, it wasn't a giant arena, yes. It was like an opera house or something where most of this shit went down. But no, but like th these guys have been in like fucking high school gyms and shit. Yeah. That's what it is. It, 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 it's effectively Kiwanis clubs. Two ladders, situation. Yeah, okay, it was a shithole, but it, it was. It was yeah. still like, it held some people. Well, no, I There's mean, some like. room in there. It. Oh, oh, God, that always just looks so good. And he looks like such a doofus falling forward. Finn putting his head through a ceiling. Wow, we actually just got a link to that. Oh, yeah, no, that definitely happened. It was built as a shithole. Nice. Ooh. Oh! God, this is why this fucking match is so good. Is that, like, they've waited until now, the halfway point, to get to the ladder violence. Oh! Because you knew it was coming. And they can both do it super well, but they didn't need to do it until right now, the second half of the match, when shit gets fucking real. Ladder oh, violence! Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh! 
Oh, the fucking back senton on the ladder. <laughs> he gave him the fucking cross. <laughs> How funny is that? That like a year ago, if you were to tell a wrestling fan, hey, Kevin Steen's the perfect WWE superstar, and he can immediately oh, no. feud with Cena. Like everyone would yeah. be like, no, They'd be like, that you're fucking so dumb. Whatever, you don't watch oh, wrestling. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. That looked really bad. Oh, my good God, Kane. <laughs> Although I have As seen, God is my witness, he's broken in thirds. <laughs> I have seen I have seen uh, Owens go through like a really weird looking stack of chairs before too, so that's not the worst back yeah. he's taken. Uh, Reverend Puck says, LOL a year ago, if we have uh, thought we'd see Steen versus uh, Prince Devitt in NYC, it would have been unheard of. True. Oh, Oh shit! Uh oh! Is he gonna uh -oh. do this? His head! Oh! God damn it! You know the thing is, is that like all their, all their moves, lead so well to the ladders. Yeah. Oh, it's true. Because do you think Coup de Gras comes with a ladder on top or on well, bottom? Well, he can Coup de Gras off of a ladder too. Oh my. Oh! God damn, that must hurt so fucking badly. Apparently, he th there's like a real thing to it. Yeah? Yeah. So he like falls backwards essentially, yeah. right? Is the whole. Yeah. But it just looks like it just murders you. Uh oh. He's got to go all the way to the top. Oh, shit! Whoa! Okay, they killed him. <laughs> they killed him. I killed him! I killed him! Oh, my God, oh, King! As God is my Jesus. witness, he is broken in half! Oh, my God. Just like, stop just... the match! Stop the damn match! Stop it! It's Okay, just imagine, like, the j just the jostling of your oh. intestines and your organs... By the way, I mean, Ugh. understand the athleticism of what that move is. Like, to go two steps over in yeah. perfect fucking yeah. position to With get power bomb, yeah, to power bomb. To have yeah. it not look sideways, to yeah. have it look straight down theatrically, like, that is an insane amount of athleticism. From a big fat guy. Apparently, our reaction is delayed, so let's hit the live button. All right. So, all right. We, we were watching Owen climb up, and, and, and now, now he's, we missed whatever yeah, spot that was. Whatever. That's fine. We I'm missed, sure there'll be better We ones. missed the ladder what spot, but now that? we're closer to if where you are. We've done that, and then all of a sudden, it was just like Owen's like racing the Parsimony. <laughs> he got pushed over. Good. Check. News flash. <laughs> they push the ladder over. Oh, oh. Oh. Oh, side of the rail. On the, side on of the, the rail. Apron, on the apron. Oh, nice reaction. The follow through. God damn. Attention to detail with these guys. Ooh. He's going to hit it now. Oh. He's going to hit it. Oh. Oh. Just the small of the back. He's ended 
people's careers with that move. He has ended careers. There is no way that somebody could win a match yeah. against him when he has ended a career with that move. But Finn Balor's got the power of the demon in him, Maggle. <laughs> <laughs> He's not just a man. By the way, that move, by the way, the uh, power bomb on awkward yeah. spaces yeah. is the legacy of the indies. Yeah. Because Seth Rollins does it. <laughs> Kevin Owens does it. Every fucking over indie guy does it. Sure. And it's awesome that he took that into WWE and said, like, no, that's my finisher. It's a power bomb. Well, him, him and yeah. uh, uh, Seth have, have done it. Like, but that's, like, he's the first one to make it, like, the... God, this is fucking... By the way, this is actually, like, like theatrically dangerous. Because, like... Oh, shit. Ooh! They don't super have... Kick. They don't have super high ladders, and they've no, hung no, it gonna super high. Get- Onto the top rung. And to like almost like, like there. jump. They're going to have yeah. to be like tippy toes on the top of a ladder. This, I'm starting to feel nervous. Starting to feel a little nervous. Unless, I'll tell you what, this would be actually interesting. If they had it higher... During the match, yeah, and then they lowered oh, and it. Oh, they like slowly lowers just throughout, yeah, like yeah, yeah. two inches, yeah. like for the finish. That would be rad. Oof. Super kick party. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see a back rake and an eye poke. I mean, like, who's a bigger friend of the Young Bucks between the two of them? You know. All right, here you go. You, you can't get up there with the one ladder, so stack two ladders. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh-oh. 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 That's fine. Uh-oh. We'll hit Internet. live. We'll hit live. You stay there. I'm going to do this. You just follow my lead. <laughs> oh, God. Oh my oh, god. Oh no, 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 no. Oh no. Don't do this. Oh no. Don't oh, do no. this. That man has a family. <laughs> Don't that man has do a this. family. Oh no, the fisherman suplex. What are you doing? It's right not now? worth this. It's not worth this, Kevin. God damn it, please. Please. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that could. They could end two careers. Oh. <laughs> he was a hair cut away. Oof. Oh. Oh, Jesus. Wow. Balor's got to. He's going to have to do it now. Balor's going to have to take that spot. Oh, shit. The ladder's not centered. He's going to have to leap for it. Uh-uh. Oh no, no, Kevin Owens is coming. It's a pop up power bomb onto that ladder. Here he comes. Oh my god, if he power bombs him onto that ladder. He's like, how do I get this fucking thing? Coup de gras off the ladder! Here it is! Here it is! Oh, that was almost in the nuts. Holy oh my shit. my God. The bad ankle. Now it's going to take him a long time to get up that ladder. Nope, he's moving. He's moving pretty good. He really is going to have to get to the very top. He's got it. He's got it. God damn it. Fuck him the leg. The leg! What does this happen at the worst moments? What the fuck? He got oh, it. Okay, all right. All the faces. Face, 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 face. 
It's Face of Palooza here at NXT TakeOver Brooklyn. My boy Kevin Owens is on quite a losing streak. You know, it all turned when he couldn't get that uh, that suplex onto the ladder. Instead, he bounced his own fucking head off of it. Ooh, there's so many good spots in this match. Holy shit. I mean, there's really not a a, a a bad moment in it, right? No. I will say this, though. I kind of feel like the Bailey-Sasha match was a little bit better. No. I think it was. Uh, Psychology-wise and just how the whole thing played out. Well, I mean, all right. This was fantastic. Don't get me wrong. So, I'm not yes, putting this yes. down. No, 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 I, no. What I'm saying is that their match was that good. Yes. Uh, you know what? No, you, uh, I, I will agree with you. Because, like, oh, there's more ways you can go with that match than you can go with this match. Sure. Like, yeah. at this point, it's like either... Because Kevin's on the main roster, because like well, okay, yeah. So the 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 outcome of the match felt a little more like you didn't really know what was gonna happen. I felt well, much and, more tense in the Sasha Bailey match. Yes, but I mean, okay, the spot wise, this had some fucking insane shit. Obviously, I mean, yeah. And these guys fucking took some pain for our entertainment. And we had two hilarious fucking Kevin... Oh, Jesus. I mean, that's insane. Yeah. We had two hilarious Kevin Owens moments as well. Yeah. Yeah, that... I don't... Okay, so I, I guess I see, I see the falling backwards, but even still... Yeah, this was fucking great, though. Absolutely. <laughs> By the way, that's the man who should retire The Undertaker. That's not a bad call. Because he has, yeah, he has a lot of those elements in his game as well. And, you know, the demon yeah, versus sure. the phenom. You, you like, really could build that match. And he the can handle The dead man versus the demon. He, he can handle it. Sure. Well, that was a fantastic pay-per-view. Uh, now I guess we have to wait a week to see uh, Enzo's match, huh? We do. Oh, wow. uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching our Let's Wrestle. Uh, final thoughts. The final thoughts is that NXT is set up for um, a, a long time, even though they've lost a bunch of talent because it shifts, right? Yeah. And that's like the one thing that worries me always about NXT is like, how are they going to keep this going as people inevitably move Leave. on from the yeah. product, right? But I don't think they're in any fucking trouble at all. No. Like, they just, it seems like there's just uh, way too much wrestling talent right now, and like, they can manage it correctly. Uh, and I think that's the reason why they're doing that big tag team tournament. Yeah. You get to feature like, a lot of people who weren't heavily featured. And yeah. also, you can make it be. Yeah. Like, that's the show for three months. Yeah, sure. Like, you can put all your face talent into tag teams and yeah. make that interesting yeah. for three months. And in the meanwhile, you're going to build up all your new guys that come in. You're going to yeah. build up your Apollo Cruises. You're going to build up your Samoa Well, Joes. that's what I'm saying. Like, that's what's impressive is when you got a guy like that. And they actually, like, found a way to make Baron Corbin interesting to me again. And some yeah. of these other guys who, you know, while you've had these kind of you know, your your Nevilles and stuff and Zanes and Owens are like kind of owning the show. Yeah. The other guys were just kind of like, ah, shit, like, what do we do with these guys? And now that's, like, their turn to do it, right? So, like, Tyler Breeze is now going to be, like, a huge part of the show going forward. Except, and why do you have him jobbed it? Uh, that was weird. I, 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 will, I will admit. But that although, match was entertaining. Although, at the same time, like, I guess, did every face go over? Yeah. Wait. Yeah. Right? 
Liger went over. All the main faces are we, went over. Are we? Yeah, are we wrong here? Does anybody have a heel win tonight? Was there? Uh, Bills, it's wrestling. There's always new guys coming to the bot. Yeah, but sure. But also, there's plenty faces of times six and where no. yeah, yeah, no faces six and no. But there's also plenty of times where the new talent like doesn't pull their weight compared to the old talent, right? Like, and that's why like you get stagnant situations at the top, right? With like, and that's what WWE has been for a long time, where it's like the guys at the top just sit there at the top. Well, but for an extended like, period of time. But but the the problem so so it's more complicated than just like that they are old, right? And well, they're yeah. not as good. It, it's just that like But replacing a huge star is tough to do. Well, here's where shit gets imbalanced. Yeah. Is the young people are more athletic, the old people are over. Sure. How do you bridge they the gap? They have history, they have bridge like, yeah. bridge the yeah. gap. Yeah. No, and, and like, like it ain't always history. Yeah. Like some people just ain't over. But when you like, like, and that's that's the beauty of wrestling. It is the truth of entertainment. Are you entertaining? You will know fucking immediately in wrestling. And if you can't make that happen, then you're just not. Because yeah. it is not about like it, like we have seen a million times the machine try to build somebody. And it fails miserably. Yeah, but uh, sometimes Roman they Reigns can pull it off. Is that example? Sometimes they can pull it off, but it's very rare. But yeah, I mean, like you're right. Like this guy, like a, like a great Kali, is just never going to be fucking he's over. Just because he's not. You know what I mean? Yeah. Charismatic. And like a Mark Henry is just always going to be where Mark Henry is. Kind of like there's guys who are no, just no, kind of no, like no, that. No, no, no. Who Mark Henry. There. Mark Henry well, could no. be champion right now well, if yeah. we booked him right. But. What I'm Mark saying, Henry though, is charismatic. He, but, they book him But when he comes out in Texas, he's fucking Texas Mark Henry. When he comes out everywhere else, he's like, oh, this guy. Like the big, strong guy. The big, fat, strong guy. Like no. it's, it's, it's true. Like he, So he was really good when he had his, like, I'm going to retire. And you had your thank, thank you, Mark, and all that stuff. And yeah. Like, that was the most interesting he'd been in a really long time, though. He's generally the guy who comes out and just, like, hits somebody in the face for a little bit and then puts but, them but over. But that's right? that's. But that's booking. They ask him to sure, do, that's and that's what he does. That's booking, right? But when you give him a chance, whenever you, whenever they have given his personality a chance to succeed, yeah, it succeeded. Yeah, same thing with the new day. Like, oh, as the, soon the as new they, day took a shitty gimmick, and we're just so good at it. But it was just a matter yeah. of putting the three of them. Yeah, just camera time. Camera time, that's it. That's all they needed is them talking. They needed, but they also needed the... Mic time, that's it. But they needed to they needed to realize what the gimmick actually meant. Like, Because, you know, when, they, when it started, they like they were being told to be this gimmick. And then they needed to realize what that, actually, the, what that gimmick actually did with the audience, how they yeah. connected with the audience. And then use that. Well, uh, do you know and that's why, what they did with the... Do you know the, why yeah. they had the initial New Day gimmick? Because well, they were supposed to be a militant... Black and sure. gang, yeah, and then Ferguson but, happened, yeah, well, <laughs> yeah. and, and then you got to be positive was now, like, yeah. It was like, whoa, how about we clap instead? Uh, <laughs> yeah. About yeah. that, yeah. no. How about yeah, let's we don't clap have rather have than the militant thing? The yeah. Ferguson yeah. Black Lives Matter gang oh, knew boy. about that. Mm. Yeah, they came out as angry Black Panther guys. <laughs> that would be a little bit different. Yeah, no. Love Although, that. because so what was what we we have seen that though, right? What was the thing that The Rock was into when he first well, came nation. up to the nation? Yeah, the, the nation, nation of domination. Of domination. Yeah, that was fucking Featuring awesome. Owen though, Hart. Actually, <laughs> that was actually fucking badass. Because enough is enough, and it's time for a change. <laughs> All right, so Triple H clearly uh, has his finger on the pulse. He knows what's going on. He can he can make a good show. I mean, that we was, already kind of knew that. That but, was a hell of a good show. Yeah, you know, I mean, if these are the shows we're gonna get from here on out, then fuck it. I'm I'll be a wrestling just, fan. I mean, here's the thing: it, it's guys who can work, girls who can work, and and just storytelling that makes fucking sense and sure. cares about what happens. The lack of ago. like coddling the audience feels really good too. Like just the fact that we don't need to tell you what to like or not like. We just do some shit, and then you figure out what you like and don't like. Feels really good. Well, I mean, like, like nothing feels like, forced, right? Mm, there are times that NXT storytelling feels forced. What's different is that NXT storytelling 
Well, uh, yeah, but they it, react to the audience in a way where it's like they're paying attention. Like I've I've watched wrestling in the past sometimes where I'm like, you just you're you're just trying to get me to like something I'm not gonna like. Well, I mean, and that's right. not happening. So here. He, here would be my argument: the the difference between NXT is not that they don't try to force feed you shit you might not like, right? Okay. Because like that's storytelling. Like you yeah. will always force feed somebody something that they might not like, and they will well, react negatively. You create to a it. story, you create a story. Right. Absolutely, yeah. But what is different from NXT it, uh, compared to WWE is that like WWE has eradicated the idea that you should remember what happened six months ago. True. A- they a- they don't a- reference shit in a way that makes sense. A lot of times, everything's yeah, erasable yeah. from yesterday. Yeah. There's from no real yesterday canon. on. Yeah. Like, like yeah. they will erase shit at sure. will, right? Oh, yeah. And you can hate me one day and I'll come out the next day and, like, for whatever reason, now you're supposed to like me. Exactly. Sure. Yeah. NXT, get, like, cares about your memory. Yeah. And that, to me, among the two, that's what's different. Yeah. It's not the talent. It's, it's really not even the booking. Yeah. Because I think the booking is, like, probably about the same. Because... NXT booking is basically fucking NWA booking. Like, it's like old school fucking, like, sure. as old as old can get. Like, you well, beat I mean, down the fact the that face, we can predict you endings. The face, you beat down the yeah. face. No, the fact that we can predict face endings, face. like, you know? means that, yeah, we're not getting, we're not getting something radically new. We're just getting it in a package that we wanted. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, we're, we're not, uh, we're not you, getting Mark. shit on by, by the, the product, which I think a lot of people felt like they were for a long time. The whole, the whole PG era. I think a lot of wrestling fans felt like they were getting shit on by the product. Yeah, which was you know, which is why a lot of people flocked to indies like at that point. So they're like, I want well, someone who just gets fans, that we're all fans. I mean, like, and, and here's well, some here's, people just left. Some people just walked away, and that's essentially what I did. Like, I was just like, I'm not oh, interested in this uh, anymore. I mean, uh, me too. I mean, yeah. I, I, I stopped watching uh in 2001 effectively yeah like well i just got bored of it like i was like what am i what do i care about now i don't care about any of this shit uh that was like the beginning of so that was i guess the beginning of like cena wins law where now people are like so sick of it where that whereas i just was gone for that yeah so when i came back i was like okay i'm not as bothered by this guy but some people are just like vehemently against him because he, he was rammed up. down their throats yeah. for so long yeah. you know what i mean and like, it's been like yeah ten years yeah. of it yeah ten she years had of Lita's it. Lita's on the pre-show? yeah Lita's on the yeah well she's a tough enough person right yeah isn't she I don't know I don't watch that shit Saxton I, is fucking everywhere by the way now they love this him. guy is like the busiest man in fucking WWE. by the way we, we we are silently watching the fucking oh yeah pre-show, that is the pre-show for the record yeah uh yeah yeah I mean all I can hope. Is that as NXT is proven to be a bigger and bigger uh, entity, yeah, and eventually Triple H takes over more and more sure. of the main roster, that the one thing that has changed is just a little less of the, yeah, let's just forget about what happened three weeks ago. I th- I think it will. Like right now, because of the success of it, it has to transfer over Cause, because cause it's the me, same they're in the same boardrooms right I mean, like, and also it's the same talent yeah. Oh, yeah. It, it's the same people yeah. like you know and it's, the, if this is starting to make money like if they're going like okay money in money out like this is good so that has to reflect like when you think about like any big company like a, a company like blizzard with hearthstone like holy shit this is making a lot of money yeah. all of a sudden that's going to affect like how now they approach everything else yeah. yeah and that's that's got to be happening behind the scenes too uh I think we're seeing it too a little bit on the main roster, like with some of the stuff like this oh, SummerSlam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The way this SummerSlam is being booked, like there's a lot of shit going on. I mean, there's really not a bad match on this. Not that I can think card. of. No. Like I, I like every. I have an interest in every element yeah. of it. By the way, watching SummerSlam here live on stream, people yeah. gonna watch that? Okay, I won't be there. I'll be at no. a. Con- I'll be at a stupid punk concert. <laughs> <laughs> Watching stupid legendary bands. No, that I as soon as uh, as soon as weird things and after things are done, I'm gonna turn on this and uh, we will watch SummerSlam and then I'll do Jury after that. Nice. So, um, yeah. All right, we're gonna shut it down for now. We might turn it back on 
to uh, do some uh, Hearthstone after that. But for right now, cheers, ladies and gentlemen. Let's uh, here. Wait, hold on. We get some. Uh, boop, 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 boop. <laughs> Get some music going to fucking uh, <laughs> send y'all out on. I think you just just Finn Balor uh, entrance music on repeat. Basically. You're reigning, defending, <laughs> NXT champion. Fucking epic.